Hey, Riddle here. Welcome to my channel, or welcome back if you're a subscriber. I really appreciate it. We almost have 8,000, so please forward any of my videos if you think that others can benefit from them. So I'm going to show you a secret. This is something that initially I was going to turn into a product and try to become a multimillionaire, but you know, I think we're living in a time that it's important that we just share stuff. You know, we just share stuff for the sake of helping each other instead of always, always, always having to have this side hustle, always having to make money. And I just happen to have plenty in my life. So I'm happy to share this wisdom with you for free. Now, you can argue the facts of climate change, but the fact is, if you are a seasoned gardener, you have noticed the last 20 years that even our most sun-loving plants are experiencing solar stress. Solar stress can manifest with actual scorching on your fruit, on your tomatoes or plants, just acting like they're stressed in the sun instead of enjoying the sun. Uh, something has radically changed in the atmosphere. And you may think this is uh, up for debate, but I tell you, it's so real that if you Google the word pure shade, P-U-R-E-S-H-A-D-E, -E, you will learn what I learned. And that is that commercially, they are now having to use sun protectant on large crops. Because even if they are not seeing the noticeable sun scorch itself, the stress, the solar stress, because of the change of the atmosphere, is creating less fruit, less vegetables, because the plants are having to use so much energy to just deal with the heat and with the solar radiation. This is what I understand. So when I tried to contact this company, they ignored me because I'm just a little backyard gardener. So I spent a couple weeks searching around until I found labels and I learned how to make it myself. And my friends, it is inexpensive and extremely effective a suntan lotion for plants. So if you live in the south or if you live in the desert, this could be really helpful. Uh, it's all organic. Uh, number two, it actually is a mild insecticide and a mild fungicide. And because it's calcium, your calcium loving plants like tomatoes and peppers will be really happy to have it on the foliage. So what you wanna find is simple calcium carbonate. You can get a large quantity of it on eBay very inexpensively. Always look for the free delivery. And you want to get the food grade calcium carbonate because if you don't get the food grade, if you get the kind they use in pools, the lime, it could be way too strong. And if it's way too strong, it of course is going to burn the leaves of your plants instead of benefit them. And all we're going to do is take two tablespoons per gallon of water. So I have a two, two and a half gallon uh, sprayer here and I've put four tablespoons of my powder in there and then you just fill it up with water. Now I also added some liquid plant fertilizer that I made from comfrey and then I started gabbing away and it overspilled, but that's okay. Now what this does is really interesting. It will make your plants and your tomatoes and the leaves kind of look like a shower door, that same kind of buildup, but it doesn't block the sun on a microscopic level, it crystallizes. So it allows plenty enough light through for photosynthesis, but it helps hold in water, moisture, and blocks a portion of the harmful rays of the sun. And I'll let you know, when I lived in Los Angeles, when we had the big heat waves and all my neighbors lost their tomatoes, Mr. Riddle, his tomatoes thrived. So it's really simple. Calcium carbonate, approximately two tablespoons per gallon in a sprayer. Go ahead, shake it up real well, make sure it's mixed really well so it doesn't clog and just generously spray it on your trees, on your plants, on your vegetables and watch the difference. Watch what happens. You will, you will, you won't, you, you just won't believe it. And when uh, everyone else's plants dry up and die up during the May, the big heat waves, yours will be fine. You won't get that blight. You won't get the sun scorch on your tomatoes. The only negative thing is, is, you know, you're going to have that little bit of residue, which isn't toxic, but it's not 
necessarily pretty to have that lime residue on your things, but it's well worth the lack of uh, aesthetic value to have super healthy, high producing vegetables and fruits, right? Okay, I'm gonna to try to find some links and add them to the comments so you can self-educate. And I hope that you people struggling with the extreme heat and extreme weather conditions, that this uh, provides you with a new tool to grow food. Take care of yourselves and take care of each other. And if you like my quick money-saving tips, garden wisdom, my explorations into science for the betterment of uh, food production, my art, and my occasional magic, please subscribe. It helps and share and like, and I will see you real soon. Take care of yourselves and take care of each other because I believe how we treat each other on the streets is our ultimate reality. Bye for now.